Hello students. In our last last session, we discussed about training climate. We've already discussed what are the six elements that makes a good training climate. That is clarity, commitment, standards, responsibility, recognition, and teamwork. We have discussed how the companies they are uh, uh, putting their best gist of efforts in order to uh, design training module that will be helpful for the employees as well as organization. So basically, it is a capital intensive thing, but it is very important for personal growth as well as the organization growth. Now, if we see. the elements which make training climate are first of all managerial support okay now what kind of managerial support will be uh, important for uh, the implementation of training climate first supervisors give recognition and credit to those who apply their knowledge and skills to their work okay see uh, climate will be positive when everyone is um uh, having the notion that whatever they are doing is helpful for the organization now if the supervisors they recognize the uh, uh work of the employees who have undergone training so they will be motivated ki yeah whatever i did was of some use and it was not futile for example if suppose our office staff is given uh, training uh, on working on excel uh, microsoft excel okay and if they uh, present report if they present some computerized report using microsoft excel so this effort should be recognized and appreciated by the supervisor okay they should be recognized then people who are not submitting computerized reports and not using excel should be should uh, understand that uh, this is not what is expected out of them by the organization only then uh, people will be positive okay when they will be recognized and given credit to whatever they are doing then uh, supervisors match associates needs for personal and professional development with opportunities to attend training now it is the duty of the supervisor to understand the individual need of uh, his or her employees and accordingly they should be uh, sent to the uh, training programs for example if uh, we have a marketing uh, team and uh, the supervisor realizes that out of 10 3 people are a week in communication to the lack in subject knowledge and uh, one uh, is not very uh, conversant with the uh, report generation okay so instead of having one uh, training and sending everyone for that training the individual needs should be identified and accordingly they should be sent okay if possible if they have these number of uh, trainings being organized so what will happen it will uh, like a bridge the gap between what is uh, actual and what is desired and then it will be very helpful for them okay then independent and innovative thinking are encouraged by the supervisors uh, this should be encouraged by uh, the supervisors when because now the uh, employees will be coming with out of box thinking out of box ideas which should be entertained and evaluate it properly top management expects high levels of performance at all times and therefore trained employees will be very helpful uh, then uh, the management also expects technical excellence and competition yes then next element is the job support first of all there should be proper managerial support to give them proper infrastructure then environment then uh the other requirement in order to implement training program successfully then second most element important element is the job support gaining new information about ways to perform work more effectively is important in this organization okay means it should be like whatever you have learned you should be able to implement it also for example as i gave you example that if uh, someone is given uh, training in uh, computers okay when he comes back to his office and he is not given that infrastructure uh, to to implement what he has learned then it is of no use the all the time energy money has gone down the drain so therefore the job should be such that it actually accommodates 
this new knowledge learned then job assignments are designed to promote personal development okay then uh, it should be such that uh, people should feel that they are growing only then they will be motivated in doing that work then learning new ways of performing work will is valued in this organization people will be positive towards uh, learning new skills only when they feel that yes there is a recognition reward and appreciation of new skills learned in this organization if they do not if they find that everyone is on the same boat and at the same level irrespective of what how much efforts they put in to uh, upgrade their skills then it will be a major dis disappointing or demotivating factor then work assignments uh, include opportunities to learn new techniques and procedures for improving performance and there is a strong belief that continuous learning is important and to important to successful job performance continuous learning is very important then organization support okay then organization support uh, what kind of organization support uh, will be require we will have there is a performance appraisal that uh, ties financial rewards to the use of newly skills acquired knowledge means there should be the uh, performance appraisal system should be such that uh, it actually values uh, the trained employees they should have some uh, special points for uh, some uh, credits given some points given for the training attended the organization offers excellent training programs for that is very mandatory that is very important that there should be a uh, conducive management support also then employees are provided with resources necessary yes the organization needs to provide resources it needs to provide excellent ambience for the training programs there are rewards and incentives and the organization rewards employees for using newly acquired knowledge and skills on the job when these things will be there only then we will feel that yes uh, the uh, organization is very positive about the training uh, implementation okay so uh, today we have learned three elements that are very important for Uh, execution of proper training program first there should be a uh, managerial support managerial support means the immediate boss support okay then secondly your there should be a job support means the work that you're doing it should be in line with the uh, new skills learned and then thirdly there should be organizational support organizational support means there should be um, an environment created by the uh, management Uh, for the proper execution of the training programs okay so thank you very much we'll continue in our next session